Hi, I'm Paul Vail with Homesteading Ways and Vail's Quail. And today we are going to be doing a video on how to pickle quail eggs. We're going to be using uh, my family's favorite pickle and seasoning, which is a bread and butter pickle seasoning. What we're going to do is we're going to put the quail eggs into the pan of just regular room temperature water. And then we're going to turn it on to boil. Now as the water is warming up and getting to boil, you should constantly stir the eggs. This helps making sure that the yolk stays in the middle of the eggs and all the white stays evenly around as you stir the eggs. Continue to stir until the eggs come to a boil. The eggs came to a full boil, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the heat off, put the lid on, and let those set for 10 minutes. Okay, now our eggs have set in the hot water for 10 minutes, and now we want to drain them. I'm going to drain them over the sink, and um, the big thing what we want to do now is we want to cool them off as quick as possible. And what that does is shrink the eggs inside the uh, eggshell, and it makes it a lot easier to peel later. So you want to use as cold water as you can get, and just rinse them down until they're really cold. You can ice them down if you want to. Um, that helps. Or just continue to run cold water into them until they're cooled down. Uh, my water comes out really cold, so it won't take long at all for them to cool down. Once the eggs are done boiled and they sat for 10 minutes, we rinse them off to cool them off so that they're back at room temperature. And then we place them in a bowl and then we add distilled white vinegar covering the eggs completely. Let them sit overnight, 24 hour period. Once the eggs have sat, we did these yesterday, so now that these have sat for 24 hours, when you pull them out of the vinegar, the shell is completely soft. It's, uh, it's, it's really soft. It's no longer hard. And then once you pinch that top, that shell just comes off with that membrane. And it just peels right off. Super, super easy. No problem whatsoever. Just keep peeling it. It's remarkable how easy this is to peel these eggs and how nice that they come out this way after they sit in that vinegar for 24 hours. Um, if you have long fingernails, it does help quite a bit, but the eggs do come out very, very nice. Very easy to peel, and you got a nice egg. Okay. All we have to do is we put our eggs in all the, the, the quart uh, jars, and we end up putting 50 quail eggs in each quart jar. Um, I had 150 eggs that we peeled, um, and uh, the package of our bread and butter uh, pickle seasoning, which you can buy at any any store that sells canning products, um, they'll they'll have this this kind, and they have a host of different ones, dill, or or, or many other ones. We just happen to like bread and butter pickles the best um, with the quail eggs. Um, but this would do six jars. So what we're doing is we're going to do a half a batch, and I've already poured half of it into the pan, and then we're going to add. Just happens to have that you would add seven cups of sugar, but we're going to add three and a half. Um, because, like I said, we're doing half of a batch. And then the last ingredient is the uh, distilled vinegar, which it says six cups, so we're going to add three cups. And now that we have all that mixture together, we're going to stir, stir that over the stove and bring that to a boil. Okay, now that we have cooled down the bread and butter uh, pickling, um, we're ready to put it into the jars. Now, if you do not want bread and pickling, you do everything the same, and if you look at the comments, we're going to paste, uh, post some um, additional um, uh, recipes um, for pickling quail eggs. So our eggs have been clean, they're cool, they're in the jars, our, uh, our spice is all ready and it's cooled down and it's ready to be put into the jars, so we're going to do that now. And we're going to fill the jars up. so that they cover the eggs completely. And a little more and that should do it. Now we'll put a lid on that and then we'll let it set in the refrigerator for a week before we eat, eat them. Now our family doesn't have any trouble eating them right away so they're, gonna, they're not going to last in my refrigerator long but if yours are going to be in your refrigerator for a long time before you open them it might be a good idea to do a hot water bath where you just put them in boiling water for 10 minutes, set them out, and then you'll hear the lids pop, and that'll just guarantee that sealing of them. Like I said, for us, we, they don't stay around for very long, but if yours are going to stay in the refrigerator for, you're not going to open them for a month or two,
go ahead and do the hot water bath, but if you're going to eat them fairly quick and start eating them after a week, don't even waste your time with that. Just seal the jars and put them in your refrigerator and let them sit for a week. And that's how we uh, pickle our quail eggs. Thanks.